murder of baby Bella. And we have now learned that the medical examiner will take a second look at the little girl's body. Now, Bella's father tells us another autopsy will be performed, pushing the funeral date again back for weeks. Also tonight, we're getting a first look at what will surround Bella with love and comfort in her final resting place. Our Christina Hager has the exclusive story tonight, all new at 6. There should be some recording that the person lived. Bella N. Bond Amoroso, it says. A headstone David DeFilippo has been working on since the three-year-old, once known as Baby Doe, was finally identified. I just didn't want her to lie in an unmarked grave. I mean, she was discarded like trash. His donation now sits and waits, since relatives have been told the medical examiner is doing a second autopsy. While the baby's mother and boyfriend face charges in Bella's murder, relatives tell WBZ the case against the couple is changing. Her burial plot has already been marked. Her name and picture quietly added to her great-grandmother's stone. But DeFilippo feels she deserves more. You know, I wanted to make it more personalized, like, you know, she mattered. Um, rather than just seeing her name at the bottom, you know, as an afterthought on the monument. And there are other gestures. Advocates who spent the summer helping search for Bella's identity on social media are now making sure she'll be enveloped in the love they wish she'd seen in life. A quilt made from swatches of fabric from across the country. I received some from Florida, um, as far west as California. Georgia, Complete Tennessee, strangers. Yeah. New York, um, Vermont, Maine. There's little poems and blessings on there for her that we want her to be buried with so she's like a part of us. Well, relatives have been told the medical examiner's second look could take two more weeks and as long as it's not postponed again, the burial would then happen a full four months after Bella turned up on the beach at Deer Island, David. Boy, heartbreaking that she still hasn't been laid to rest. And what else have we learned about what memorial service is planned for her? Well, early on, her father, her biological father, said there would, he would make sure to make it public yeah. because the public was involved from the beginning. But that group that had that quilt made, which is called Justice for Bella Bond Amoroso, has a lot of other things planned, a playground in her name, a statue, and even a program to collect donations, supplies for children, in DCF custody. So even though her burial has been delayed, all this is still going on. A reminder that there are a lot of good people out there. Christina sure. Hager, thank you so much. Paula, to you.